and they assured us that wouldn't happen tonight. We had a look at Coach Bergeron of the Nordiques. Up against it, have to win tonight to force a fifth game. Richard on the right side with Hunter at center ice and Hunter skated out of position. Look at this now. Who assured who that nothing would happen? Look out. They're squaring off. The sticks are up. The referee Bruce Hood is in and he will no doubt meet out penalties here at 223 of this opening period. Well, let's place it. The Flyers have always been a team that used intimidation and they're trying to do that against the Nordiques. The Nordiques will have nothing of that and they're standing right up to them. Hunter and Gorenz both will get the gate and that's usually what will settle things down. Well, you see the play right in front of you. Along the boards, Hoganson and I guess Gary the Stashneys are fair game. Well, the uh, Flyers are certainly trying to attack that area. Wilson was called on the roughing penalty. You'll see it right along the board. He just puts his fist right into the Nordic player. And for him and bumped him back to the net. It comes right in front. Wilson scores. Ben Wilson grabbing the pass and nobody in front of Bouchard and it's two to one Philadelphia. Now there's the good flyer pressure taking advantage of a giveaway. And Ben Wilson, number three from his left point position. Oh, what a responsibility for the forwards when they're watching your point, man. You just can't let a defenseman sneak in the hit or give one. Wait a minute. Somebody's going to be ejected. Bruce Hood is looking into the stands, and he wants somebody ejected. A fan threw something at one of the players or an official, and Bruce Hood is going to hold it up until that fan has been ejected from this hockey game, and here come here goes the security. Under. Here they come. Let's watch this now. Nobody wants to leave. Who, me? Me? Are you telling me it was me? Leave us, sir, and that's it. He's got to go. You know, Gary, the referee, will hold up the game. Absolutely. When he has decided that that fan must go, that fan must go, or 15,000 will go crazy. Well, we understand that uh, in yesterday's game, there were eggs thrown out there, just about everything. Uh, and there's no reason for that. In fact, when the Nordiques, if they are going really good in their center, or did he? Goes all the way down the ice, and icing called against the back. I guess Hunter is good bait in there, Gary. I like the spunk of that kid. I mean, he plays. He comes to play. And you know, the rest of the players, they seem to respond to him. They... Hunter's name always comes up as a real leader of this hockey club. And he was racing down there trying to save that icing call for the Nordiques. They want to get at Hunter, no question about that, but the officials are in there quickly and they manage to cool them off. This hockey league reminds you a lot of Bobby Clark when Clark first came to the Flyers. This all-out effort. And here comes Erickson after the collision against the boards. But he was the sixth best Nordique in scoring with 64 points. And took the shot. See that crazy hop off the boards, Gary? Almost the same kind of situation at the seven-second mark in the first period when Bouchard was fooled. St. Croix was nearly fooled there. And the sticks go up again around the net. Well, that's one thing about the goaltenders. You know you have to be so alert. You don't, even, you don't always have to worry about shots from the uh, wingers coming down the wing, but also when the puck comes off the boards. We saw a great example of that of Bouchard in the first seven seconds when the puck beat him between the legs from that carom, and that time St. Croix was really fighting it. But we'll have penalties. Dale Hunter back in the box again, along with Paul Holmgren.
It's bad when you see the sticks go up. And that's what is happening again. High sticking penalties. 